Let's see. Good. It looks to me like that ankle of yours is all healed up. I'm so relieved that there weren't any permanent problems. I mean, I would have done anything to bring you here. Absolutely anything. But living the rest of your life with a limp would certainly have put a bit of a damper on our blissful life together. If only you didn't need that totem. I'm glad we were able to put it in that pendant, so you at least don't have to always have it in your hand. But every time I see it, I... It just makes me feel like... You'll never truly belong to me. There is always going to be a part of you tied to the human world instead. Are you sure? You don't want to just try dying and becoming a spirit? I know you'll change, but... I mean, do we know for sure that you'll change in a bad way? Maybe you'll become totally devoted to me. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Hmm. Well, all right. I'll just have to deal with it then. Anyway, now that you're all healed up, what do you want to... Uh, I, I don't think I was expecting company. Hey, uh. Oh, Bella. I didn't realize it was that time of the month already. Did you just get into town? You betcha. You're my first stop, just like always. Well, please, come in. There's somebody that I'd love you to meet. Come here, darling. This is Bella, a traveling merchant and an old friend. Oh, is that a human? Weird to see one of you so far over on this side. But anyway, nice to meet ya. I sell all sorts of stuff, so I hope you take a peek at what I got while I'm in town. Uh, cat girl? Not sure how I feel about being called that, but since you're human, you don't have much experience with the yokai, right? I guess you just get a pass. I'm actually a Nekamata. See the two tails? I was born as an ordinary cat, but when I got really old, my tail split in two, and I started to learn to do magic. I take this mostly human form so I can carry my bag around, but I still transform into my cat self whenever I want. So... Do either of you want to take a look at what I brought back? I got a really good haul this time. Oh, but do you even have money, human? We use Rio here in the Yokai Realm. They're oval coins that look like this, see? Humans haven't used these in a long time. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll pay for whatever they like. I'm more than happy to spoil my darling little lover. <laughs> hey, good deal! All right, let me get things set up, okay? I got all sorts of stuff from all over the yokai realm. If you're low on snacks, I managed to get my hands on a bag of dried mackerel. Super yummy. I've had to hold myself back from snacking on them. N no? That's too bad. Oh, but I have these candies. They're really popular among a lot of yokai. They're made from human soul. Uh, actually, maybe you don't want these. Oh, you know what would probably be useful? Talismans! Some yokai might take too much of an interest in you as a human, so you should probably have some protective talismans on hands. Oh, now that would be helpful. Naturally, I plan to protect you every second of every day, dear, but it couldn't hurt to have extra layers of protection. 
Super! Let me see here. We've got talismans for good health, romance, good grades. Ah! Protection from... Oh, wait. You probably don't want this one. It might have a negative effect on you, Hachishaki-sama. Here we go. This one specifically to protect you against ill intent. So, it will only ward off yokai who want to hurt you. Now let me think about what else you'd like. Oh, you know what? I have a whole other bag of stuff from the human world. I travel there a bunch. Maybe you'd want something that reminds you of home? <clears throat> I think we already have enough there to remind them of, uh, of where they used to live. We don't need any of that. I, well, I understand how you feel, dear. I really do. I just, I don't want you to get distracted by the past. That's all. We really should be focusing on the future. Not all this nostalgia. Well, well you really seem set on this. I suppose maybe I could buy you a few trinkets from the human world, but only if you agree to do me a little favor. Well, it's not the favor one asks while in the presence of company. Trust me, you'll figure out exactly what I mean later. All right then, Bella. Let's see what you have. Sure. Okay, first we've got what we've got. Yeah, a bag of bits and pieces. Mm-hmm, this is really popular with a lot of yokai. It's a whole bunch of random stuff I found in the human world. Screws, empty bottles, bunched up tissues, you name it. Really? But, uh, like I said, it's super popular. A lot of yokai come from objects that have been abandoned. Things that humans create and then neglect to hold a lot of power. Which, now that I think about it, a human would have no way of using. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so if you want a bag of bits and pieces, maybe... Oh, a box of pieces and... No, wait, that's the same problem. Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay, so this is a branch I snapped off from a blessed tree near the shrine. Loads of spiritual energy in this thing. It hurt like you wouldn't believe when I touch it. Oh, so you don't need spiritual energy either. I guess humans just don't need energy. Kind of forgot about that. I used to live in the, uh, among the humans as a cat, but it's been a couple centuries. Man, that's weird. I usually sell the yokai, so most of my inventory is meant for them. Okay, well, since you're so picky... Wait, no. I was supposed to stop saying that. What was it? Oh, yeah. Discerning. Because you're such a discerning customer, I'm gonna have to whip out my super special stash. I don't sell this stuff to just anyone, partially because not a lot of yokai actually seem to like these kind of things, but also because they're really hard to get, at least for a Nekamata like me. I can take the form of a cat to wander around the human world, but that doesn't usually get, let me get away with stealing stuff right in front of people very easily. Okay, so here's what I got. There's human food, human books, human clothes, and a whole bunch of other human stuff. I got all of it from stores, so not just old abandoned stuff. Stole it? I mean, yeah, I guess I did. Yokai don't have, don't worry a lot about stealing, at least when it's from humans. With how much stuff you make just to eventually throw away, there's sort of an idea that humans don't really have all the, need all the stuff they have. Anyway, it's not like I'm going to take any of this back to the human world if you don't buy it. So you might as well get some of it and use it, right? Go ahead, look through everything, and pick what you like. Hmm. Well, it does make me happy to see you so excited, dear. I wish you acted that way when I came into the room, but... I suppose as long as I get to see that adorable expression... It doesn't matter too much what triggered it. All right. 
Have you picked out everything you want? You don't need to hold back, dear. I'm very wealthy. I can afford anything you want. There you go. That's more like it. Perhaps this will be a good thing. At least now you won't be longing for things you can't have. Okay, that'll be 425 Rio. Of course. Here you go. Oh, but what about you, Hachishaku-sama? Don't you want anything for yourself? That's quite all right, Bella dear. I stocked up to prepare for my new life with my darling here. I don't need anything right now. But do please stop by here again next time you visit the village. Okay, you got it. Bye, Hachishaka-sama. Catch you later, human. Well, wasn't that lovely? Now you have a nice little collection. Now, while all these things are nice... I actually have a gift of my own for you. I was waiting until you got better to give it to you. You see? It's your very own outfit. It's modeled after traditional Japanese garb, so it will help you blend in a little more when you visit the village. Well... It's true, I don't dress very traditionally, but I'm known among the yokai for being a little eccentric. Oh, but before I forget, I do want to talk with you about that favor. Why don't you come with me and I'll show you what I wanted? I and my kitties thank you greatly for your support, month after month, day after day. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't still be here. Yeah, that's okay. Your contributions go towards feeding my kitties their wonderful treats and food every month. Thank you. Right, Tyler Forte? Yeah. The special shout outs go to. Yeah. Waterway the Wordsmith. Blood Brother 132. Shotoa. Tyler Ferguson. Vops. Jack Stonebeard, Mega Ona, Bob Smith, Tercel Ona, Emerald Phoenix, Sapphire Dragon Gaming, Benimus Prime, Elisa Elena, Brennan Duman. Tony H24 Brandon G Toby Nichols Thomas Dean Brazil Shockwave Nicholas Rachel Foxy Fireworks Eric Phillips, Emika Urum Bacon, Aaron Kosterman, Dom Dask, Ben Kundik, Jack Castle, Jamie. Andrew Connor, Sky Odinson, Julian Herve, Loki Son, 
miscellaneous Wolfman Cal D.W. And thank you especially to viewers like you and also to shockbite.com decalgirl.com speedmax.net for all of your support thank you all of you and have a wonderful day. Purr, purr, meow.